Hey, welcome to Ant Lab Games, where our board game playthroughs are always unpaid and ad free. I'm your host, Francis. And I'm Anthony. And today we are taking you through Fun Fair, which is a re implementation. Not to be confused with Unfair. Unfair. <laughs> um, also designed by Joel Finch, published by Good Games Publishing. This one plays two to four players in 30 to 60 minutes. All right, so join us at the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right, welcome. Welcome to the fair. To the fun fair. The fun fair. It's not so fun yet because there's nothing built. <laughs> there's not, it's just little people on a roller coaster. That's it. Well, there's not even a roller coaster in my yeah. park. It's just a gate. <laughs> it just is. Just this gate. It's a fantastic one star park entrance. Yep. So if you all have played a game by the name of Unfair that came out years ago, and looks very, looks similar. very, very familiar to what we're about to show you, <laughs> then um, you're not seeing. You're not seeing things. Your eyes are not being fooled. This yes. is uh, a re-innovation. Yeah, re re-implementation. Right? Re-implementation yeah. of the original Unfair. Now, the, the original Unfair um, and Funfair, mm -hmm. you know, they're games about building a theme park. What right. better theme than building a theme park? Yes. Right? How, it, it's good stuff. But the original Unfair, um, due to the nature of its name <laughs> itself, basically is telling you... It's almost you, as if people were surprised. Yeah, that this game is actually a little stabby, right? So imagine building a, a park against two, three other people, and they, you know, events are coming out and they're hurting you. Mm -hmm. People are, are shutting down your rides. They're taking your money. Yeah. They're sending, like, bad guys to your park. There's all this, like, stabby stuff going on. Um, and you know some decks were worse than others, and you know you, you would build a the game with two different theme decks, and you right. would squish it together, and you would have this whole thing. Why am I telling you this? Because <laughs> it's important that you understand the differences between the two. Right. Right. So that game was very take thatty. There were two decks you could play with that we basically always, always played with, with yeah. <laughs> that didn't have as much of the take that. Yeah, they weren't as interactive between players. Right. Um, but it could get really nasty. It could get nasty, and and we're more on the we don't really like to interact too much yeah. uh, with each other but you know outside of like trying to grab the best cards off the market if you see somebody's going for something you could mm -hmm. probably scoop their card ahead of them uh, but that's about it it's the only way to really yeah. mess with somebody in this version of it so this is going to be just who's building a better who's park? building a better park Pretty it's just much. build your tableau and that's that's kind of the space we like to be in yeah so uh it's the space you like to be in because uh, i get not very happy. Not very happy <laughs> when, bad things when I do bad things. So uh, we're going to go right to it. We'll walk you through the setup. We'll jump into this game because it's pretty st simple straightforward. Yeah, um, it's fun. And it's definitely more fun, <laughs> fair, than unfair. So take a look at the table. Um, basic setup. We each start with the main gate. Um, and we each start with a showcase card. So the showcase card uh, is an attraction that we each are going to be able to build wow. uh, at some point in the future. Right, so this is a, a really uh, expensive ride, but it's going to af afford us some some pretty good uh, points if yes. we can get it out there. Right, so we our our park gate tells us that we have a limit of five attractions. So we're going to build attractions out to the right of our gate, mm -hmm. uh, but you can build up to five of them, and that includes your showcase. That's going to count against your limit. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna be taking turns going through um, and and essentially building out our park and upgrading our rides. We each started with a hand of five cards that um, have an attraction. That's the thing about this game. Your starting hand must have an attraction. Right. Um, if it didn't have one, you were to discard those that first hand and redeal. So it's like a mulligan. And you keep drawing five cards until you have an attraction. We each do. So we are good to go with that. Yes. The uh, city deck, so this is a player board. Uh, it's double-sided. One of them is set more for people playing around the board. Mm -hmm. This side is set for people playing on the same side of the table, which I really do appreciate that, yes. uh, that setup. Um, the city uh, deck is our timer. Mm -hmm. So there's six city event cards we're going to go through. And um, we're going to start with that in just a second. The blueprint deck we're going to be able to pull from at some point, and that gives us... Um, some endgame goals. Endgame goals, exactly. And lots of points. Lots of points. Yeah. Uh, there's our park deck, so that's where all of our cards are going to be. And the award deck, which we'll flip now. This is going to be the award that we're going for to get extra points this game. And what is it? It is build a park with the most quality icons. Quality. So yeah. we're going for quality upgrades in our rides. It's an extra 15 Fantastic. bonus points. The game is going to take place... Um, you know, over a, a series of, like I said, six rounds, we're going to get uh, three park actions, uh, mm -hmm. potentially four if we get our, our showcase, uh, showcase out. out. 
Uh, we're going to do the guest phase and we're going to do a cleanup. It's just going to keep repeating. Uh, you want to fill the market with the uh, yes, park deck? So we get our, our market decks going. And we'll do our city card as well. We'll do our city event. And uh, from a money perspective, we each start with $30. It's not, not that much money to start building a theme park. It's really not. <laughs> a very small, tiny little theme park. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Cool. So we have some upgrades out there. We have some staff out there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. No attractions. Okay. okay. That's fine because we yeah. know we each have started with at least Correct. one. You want me to do the city? Sure. What's the yeah. city event? How are we opening this so up? So we are starting this by a change of plans. So this round each player is affected by a change of plans. Draw a park card. Mm -hmm. Discard any number of cards from your hand and draw an equal number of park cards to replace them. I like that. I actually like that too. Um, so we draw a park card first. You can go first, sure. So let's get this. Oh, I like it. And then... Okay, I'll do as well. I'll draw one. Mm. Ooh, okay. So, and it says draw, discard as many as you want and, and draw that many up? Yeah. One, two. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll discard... Hmm. I'll discard three <laughs> cards and draw three more. One, yeah, two, get rid of and this. three. Okay. One, uh, two. I'll work with that. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of two. Another thing to note with the setup for this game that differs greatly from the original Unfair mm -hmm. is that, like we said, there were multiple themed decks that you were selecting two, right. mashing them together into a, a giant park deck, and then you would play with those two themes. So you could kind of mix, mix and match themes, which is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. um, with this version of it, the difference is the park deck is the park deck. Right. It's got four themes in it, yeah. and that's it. It's set up it, the way it's supposed to be set up. Yeah, no like digging through the box to mm. find different decks. And no, this is it. It's one deck goes, boom, and you play. Yeah. So that's it. So we're playing, uh, so that was the uh, city event. We mm -hmm. just completed that. Now we yeah. go, your player won this round, so you're going to do the first park action. You want to go through the actions real quick? Fantastic, yeah. So we have um, a couple of things we can do. First, we can build, so that's going to be mm -hmm. our primary action. Uh, to build our theme park. And we can build either from our cards in our hand, paying the uh, value on the little ticket, as you can see here, or we can build directly from the market mm -hmm. into our into our tableau. Um, second, we can take stuff. So we can take a card from the market without building it. You're not going to pay for it to take it from the market. We can take blueprint or park cards by drawing two and keeping one. Mm -hmm. um, or we can actually discard a park card to draw five park cards and keep one mm -hmm. as well. Um, I think that's pretty much it. That, that's from uh, the take loose, perspective. Yeah, so that's so take. Build, so then we can take, yeah. Build from the offer of your hand. Right. Take what you just described. Loose change. We can collect loose change, which is yes. kind of neat. So as we start building attractions, uh, people are going to start riding those rides and dropping their change all over the place. Mm -hmm. So we can go and pick that up and get um, some money in the amount of the attractions that we have out. One coin per yes. attraction. Yep. Um, and then finally, we can demolish something in our park and you might be asking why do we want to do that um some end game goals want you to have things looking a very specific way yeah. maybe you want to demolish something so you can bring something else out lots of reasons we can do that um, and that is an option as well yep yep the blueprint cards will change the way you build your park because yes. they're going to ask for certain specific things mm -hmm. and you got to go with it so yeah you're first wow okay <laughs> um All right, I think I'm going to start by building from the market, and I'm actually going to just pay six dollars mm -hmm. to hire this man, the staff member. So he's a workshop supervisor. He's a workshop supervisor. Um, so what he's going to do is when I when I pay to build a feature upgrade, mm -hmm. which is a certain kind of upgrade, I can reduce the price by two to a minimum of one. Okay. That's great. So he's going to help me do stuff. That's like that. fantastic. That's fun. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and build my first attraction called the Twister Roller Coaster. So I'm going to pay $6. And that now is in my park. Your turn. So now we go up to park phase two. Mm -hmm. So the price is right there, six bucks. Okay. Now at the, at the uh, income phase, you're going to get paid for every star. And mm -hmm. your star is sort of like your, the star rating of your park. Think of it right. that way. As you add more attractions and upgrade your attractions, your park becomes more prestigious, and people <laughs> want to come see it. 
Uh, all right. I think I will. I think I'll pay four dollars, and I'm gonna build a freak show with the amazing mermaid. Hmm. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Awesome. That's it. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna build from the offer the market here. I'm gonna pay ten dollars, and it's the fairy tale theme. I'm gonna put that on my roller coaster. Mm -hmm. So after you build this upgrade. You may draw two park cards. Choose one to keep and discard the other and gain coins equal to half its marked price rounded down. A fairy tale roller coaster? Why not? That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna draw two, I'm gonna keep one, and then sell one. So I'll keep this one and I'm gonna discard this and take half the money, five dollars. So this upgrade only cost me five in the end. Okay. So that goes right underneath so that you can see the symbols. Great. Alright. Oops, oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Um, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Be nice to get maybe one more star out there. Maybe I will buy comfortable seating. Hmm. Um, but because this is a feature upgrade mm -hmm. and I get a discount, I can reduce the price by two. So I'm only going to pay five dollars. Okay. For that. Comfortable seating. That is good. At my ah, freak show. Now that's good. Superior quality. That's what we oh, want here. So I'm going to pay $9. Uh, one, two, three, four. That sucks because I got rid of two of those. Five. That's unfortunate. In my mulligan. Oof. Yeah, pay $9 gosh. to now I'm going to upgrade my roller coaster to be of superior <laughs> quality. That is actually great. Yes. Because we don't want a subpar roller coaster. Nobody wants a subpar <laughs> roller coaster. All right, so that was the third. None of us are going to get a fourth. We're yes. going to do guests now. Okay. So guests, we add up our star total because mm -hmm. that's how many guests are going to come to our park. So how yes. many do you have? I have three. Three. So you're going to yeah. get paid. Three bucks. Three. And I have two, one, three. two, three, four. So I'm going to gain four dollars. And now the, the showcase mm -hmm. is something that your investors want you to build. Yes, so they're so paying you for Every it. round they're going to give you money towards it as long as you haven't built it yet mm -hmm. to help you build it. They're going to give us $5 each. So but once you build it, you don't get that investment mm -hmm. anymore. Um, that's it for, so we collected our stars. Uh, we don't have, if your staff members give you tickets, that's cool. Our investors just paid us. We're going to clear and refill the market. So mm -hmm. we're going to clean up now. There you go. Thank you. All right, let's see. Ooh. Now we have to discard down to five, by the oh. way. Oh, I like this. I like what oh, I'm seeing here. I like it a lot. All right. Um, we have to discard to five? Oh, I already have five, so I'm good. Um, All right. Uh, hmm. uh, I'll discard one. I have two. Let's see. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're good. Um, we Ready? change player one. <sighs> Yeah, sorry, you don't get to be player one the entire game. I know. Uh, okay. And we're going to jump into city phase. So okay. what is the event? We have a two for one deal. Um, after you build this round, after you build a card from the market and mm -hmm. complete any abilities on the card, you may draw a park card. So after you build a card. When you build a card from the market. Whenever you build yeah. a card from the market and complete any abilities mm -hmm. on the card. So like if you built that yeah. and you did their ability, what do you get? You just get a park card. You get to draw a park mm -hmm. card? Okay. So we get to do it every time we build it. Two for a, one. Every time we build in our park, we yes. get to do that. Yeah. Um, a two for... Okay, cool. Um, okay, I'm first, right? Yes. Eek. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay five bucks and I'm going to hire this cotton candy vendor. Hmm. What he's going to do is, uh, once per guest step, so when we collect income, I'm going to get three extra bucks for each leisure ride in my park. So hopefully I get some of those out. Oh, these are so good. All right, I think I will... To spend four bucks and hire this other staff member who gives me extra coins. A lot of robot themes going on. Yeah. Right there. All right, so we're in park. Actually, we're in park in phase park two. two now. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pay six dollars 
And I'm going to build a giant wheel. Hmm. It's a leisure ride. Looks like a leisure ride to me. You ready? Yeah, here we go. All right, I'm going to pay. Wow, I'm like down to singles here. I'm going to pay $11. And I'm going to take the amusement arcade hmm. attraction, sideshow, clowns, robots, fun arcade. Um, Hold on. What? Rewind. Oh, we haven't been taking yeah, our Yeah, we cards. haven't been. So, we just said that. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, did you build from the market? I Your did. First? I did my first one, yeah. Okay, so, so I'll take card. my card for the first one. I drew. I did a card too. You and did then, a card. No, but I did it from my hand. The second oh, one. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll refill that because I just bought it, and then I did another one, right? You did two from the market. Yeah. Okay. Mmm. All right. Um. Oh, and after I build this attraction, I can immediately build an upgrade onto it from my hand for free. Hmm. So, well, it can't be the card you just drew. No, it won't be either of these, actually. Let's see if I want to... Hmm. I'll do a jungle theme. And this jungle card, after you build this upgrade, you can draw up to five park cards and choose to keep one. All right. Which I'll do. So... One, two, three, four, five. There you go. All right, while you're looking through those, uh, yes. I'm going to go ahead and, we're on park three, I'm going to mm -hmm. draw two blueprints and then keep one or none. So you have a choice. You can keep one or none. And they're going to give you two uh, objectives, uh, a main objective and a bonus. You have to complete the main objective to be eligible to complete the bonus. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you can do this. Um. Okay, I should be able to do that. And I should be able to do that. So I'm going to keep this one. Now these don't, you don't have um, hand limit, hand limit on these. They just, they just come with you. So okay. I'm going to hold on to that. You ready? Yeah. So it's your turn. All right. I'm going to pay so much money. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna pay six bucks. Mm -hmm. So much to build a haunted castle. Oh wow! For six dollars. There he goes. Got a lot of side shows going. I on do. <laughs> I'm an entire it's theme like park a of carnival. Side shows. <laughs> it's like carnival. It is carnival. All right, so that was the last um, yes. park phase. So now we're gonna do income. Okay. So we're gonna do one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus five is 11. So okay. I'll take 10. And I'm going to get two, three, 11. four, oh. five, six. 14. Sorry. Oh, because of your extra yeah, coins. Yeah, because I do have a leisure ride. Yes. And my um, souvenir seller mm -hmm. gives me two extra coins for each sideshow, and I have three sideshows. Mm -hmm. so this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right. So this is going to switch hands. These guys are coming out. Okay. So I'm gonna bring out all new cards for cleanup. Hmm. Uh, right. Oh, you love building the gingerbread house. Uh, it's not bad. Here, okay. back to the city event right. and go ahead. Yeah. All right. We have this round. Each player is affected by industry incentives. Mm. Draw a part card. You mm -hmm. may reveal a card from your hand and give it to the player on your left. If you do, gain coins equal to half its marked price rounded down. Oh, okay. So, so we each we draw, draw one. our card. So I will draw yeah. first. And then we can give a card, not this um, card. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't discard down to five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to get rid of this. I have five. Okay. Uh, now it says we can give a card? Yeah, so it says... And give it. I'll um, give it. You can reveal a card from your hand and give it to the player on your left. Okay. Ah, and if so you do, any card. then you get the cost... Rounded. Uh, okay. Down. That's uh, fine. I'm gonna give this one to you. Really? Yep. And I'll take five dollars for that one. I'll okay. Sure, the one I'm getting you. Give this one to you. What did you? Oh, you jungle gave me a jungle theme. theme? Yeah, you can have that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> uh, I'll give this to you for three dollars. Oh, the flying coaster. I think you know you like to build those coasters. So. Yeah. One of the rules with uh, placement on upgrades, you you can have any upgrade you want. As long as it says, you know, it doesn't say you can't put it on this type of right. ride. Like, it yeah. can't, cannot be on rides or it must be on a thrill ride. Yeah. Um, the only other rule that really applies is it can't be an identical 
upgrade. Correct. So you like can't I, have like two jungle themes. Correct. Or two superior ride. qualities. Yeah. But you could have superior quality and then, you know, no whatever the, the highest quality is. There's like multiple right. quality uh, yes. upgrades. <laughs> you just can't have, but you can't have like two air conditionings on yeah. it. You can have two sets of comfortable seats. Right. Um, that's the main. The so main you role. may see multiple icons on one card. Like right. This is like the flags and stuff, for example. But, um, but yeah, the text underneath is actually a little bit different. And so. keep in mind as we go along, the scoring really comes down to the height of your, you're going to score each of your attractions by how many icons it has. Mm -hmm. That's where it's all going to come, yes. come out. Yes, okay. All right, let's see. Wow, this is so expensive. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get. Yikes. I'm going to draw two blueprint cards and <laughs> Okay. So then I'm going to go ahead and pay yeah. $7. One, two, and five. And I'm going to, I'm going to build a gingerbread house attraction food outlet so you may use an action to build a fairy tale theme on this attraction for free and i mm. all right so at a later time like i can use yeah. an action i don't doesn't mean i can do it right this second which means that the, the gingerbread house is just begging for the fairy tale theme all right so that is it do you just pick your uh no i can't decide if i want to keep this or not this is like not great. One or none. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this. Maybe I will. Okay, I'll keep it. Here's the thing with these blueprint cards: if you don't fulfill them, mm -hmm. you lose ten points. Do you? Yes. If incomplete, ten points. Oh wow. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, penalty if no incomplete, ten points. That's terrible. I know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> got to read the, the fine print. It's the fine print on those blueprints. So right. it is your turn. Yep. All right. What do we got out there? Um, yeah, this is no bueno. Hmm. I really like all my cards. I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's like you don't want to spend all this money, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Alright. I gotta keep those. Alright, um I'm gonna draw two more blueprint cards. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend three dollars. <laughs> One, two, three, and I'm going to build some restrooms in my gingerbread house because you never know when you got to go. So there it is, restrooms. These are like the same. And we are bringing out the whirlpool <gasps> element. This is interesting. I've, I kind of want to take this, but I may not, it may not work. But I'm going to try it. I'm gonna okay. Do it. I'm, I'm going to lose this game so bad. That's I'm fine. just doing lots of weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so it like, is your that's a video game, right? third and final turn. Third and final. That's what you think. That is actually my final. <laughs> um, let's see. Two. All right. I'm going to do, I'm going to pay nine mm -hmm. bucks for a superior quality upgrade on my haunted castle. All right. Probably also a good choice for a superior quality upgrade because nobody wants a One, two, three, four, castle. five, six. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go actually build an upgrade. So I'm going to put a sea serpent roll track on my twister roller coaster. So it's going to cost me eight bucks. These can only go on thrill rides, obviously. There's 10. I'll take two back. Um, so that's it. We're going to go to the guest stage. So now we are going to count Okay. Stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus five is fourteen. Pay a dollar, take fifteen. Thirteen. So 
Take 15, give back two. Okay. All right, so now we are going to do so we did stars, tickets. Oh, man, I keep forgetting to get my $3 from this yeah, guy. Yeah, definitely do that. One, I don't two, forget. Three. No, he's a, because he, I've got one leisure ride, so that's the Oh, and the $5 that. from your showcase. Oh, I already um, took that. Showcase. That oh, I did? counted. Oh. This dude I didn't count. Um, clean and refill the markets, so these are all gone. Discard down to five cards. One, two, three, four, five. I am good to go. Okay. Wow, look at all these guest services. <laughs> so many guest kiosks. Wow. Wow. So I am the uh, player one. You are here. Oops, Whoa. sorry. Really? <laughs> I need all your money. Yeah, come on. <laughs> uh, what does that say? The kiosk? Express queue. So after you build this upgrade, you may choose a card from the market and put it in your hand. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Um, that, that is actually really neat. So there's another break show. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, yeah. so let's let's pop the event right. real quick and see what we, what we got this round. Oh no, a trade show. Mm -hmm. uh, draw oh, two cool. blueprint cards if possible. Otherwise, draw three part cards. You may keep one or none. All right. So this is going to also trigger Can another event. Two? So I draw, I grab two. Yeah. So let's okay. see if I want any of these. Uh. Hmm. Ooh. Oh yeah, I can do this. Oh. I definitely don't want that. Let I can me do see. This. I need to look at my other cards real quick. I can do that. Get rid of that guy. This is gonna focus me a little bit. Yeah, focus. How many rounds do we have left? <laughs> well, we have got two more. Yeah, after I don't this. know about this. So this is a new card that came up, right? This is the timer. So blueprint deck coming soon. <laughs> Last chance to take blueprints. Put the blueprint discard pile into the blueprint deck. Turn this card over and place it on top of the blueprint deck. So at the cleanup stage, we are going to um, shut down blueprints. So this is gonna be the last round to get any new blueprint cards. This is such a good one, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Because I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's good. It was a good one, but. So, okay, that's good, that's good. Um, yeah, you can go what I need That's to do good. Now. Okay, so I'm I'm in good shape now. So I'm first. Uh huh. Oh, so I'm gonna go ahead and for free, because at any you may use an action to build a fairy tale theme on this attraction for free. Mm -hmm. So I have a fairy tale theme. Uh, after I build this, I may draw two park cards and then keep one and sell one for half price. Rounded down. So I'm gonna draw two cards. Boom, boom. Uh, sell the pirate theme for half price and keep. This one. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many is he? Yikes. This is not good. No. This isn't working out for me very well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is like not great. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually going to trash this and get five cards. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. Two. Okay. And keep one. Oh, okay. This might work. All right. I'm going to blah. Yeah. All right, so that was round one. Mm -hmm. Round two. Just thinking, is it time? Is it time? I, I think it's time. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to spend 20. 20 bucks and bring out the Wicked Queen's Tower Super Attraction Thrill Ride. Boom. So I've got one, two, three, four attractions now. Uh, room for one more. So now I may take four actions each round. Okay. There All you right. go. Yeah. All right, this is turn two. Mm-hmm. Turn two. Turn two. Yeah, I feel like it may be time for me as well. Don't copy what I do. Um, but I might do that. But I might copy you. Mm-mm. 
Uh, I have to because I want another turn. So I have to. You know? Look, you don't have to do anything. Yes, I do. I have to. I'm going to build this for 20 bucks. Oh, man. Copycat. <laughs> such a copycat. I know. It's You're, kind of ridiculous. Your park is kind of encroaching on my park. Uh, well, I'll make room. In, Can you in, move in, your just cotton a moment. candy Yeah, man. so we'll, we'll put him above, <laughs> we'll put him above the park now. Sorry, that's just my riches. Um, we'll put him up there for now. He can just <laughs> hang out, which is fine. Uh, my riches. I do need to do some other things, but I don't necessarily need to do them yet. So okay. what I would like... Oh, this is so weird. Um, 12, 5, yeah, see, these really, mm -hmm. these really don't, mm -hmm. don't really help me out. So I kind of need more cards here. So we're in the third, third round, right? I need to discard a card and draw some, I think. So I'm gonna discard, ugh, discard this corkscrew element and then draw five. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, and keep one. So you can go ahead while I'm trying to okay. decide which one I wanna take. Okay. And one, I got two, the one three, I wanted. Four, five. I'm gonna spend five and build an express queue. Cool. On my Ultra Defender, Tech Ultra Defender. All right, so we are in round four now, uh, turn yep. four. I'm going to spend seven dollars, five, six, seven, and build a fairy tale performer. Hmm. So end game, she's going to give me three points for every fairy tale theme I have. Okay, we're in round four. Mm hmm. Yes, that was the last turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I have one dollar left. <laughs> That's great. I guess I'm not building anything. Mm -mm. Uh, okay. I am then going to I guess I'll take this maybe. Just take it into your hand? I'm going to take this into my hand, yeah. All right. So that's going to end. Oh, oh, that's a shame. That's yeah, going to end that. We're going to do guests now so we can uh, add up our okay. stars. Three. Remember, no more $5 investment. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, 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 that's it. This is all going bye byes now because we're in cleanup. And discard down to. Discard down, and I know I only have four cards, so I'm good. So now the blueprint deck. Yes, is closed. Is closed. So so sorry, guys. <laughs> um, yeah. So this That's is. It. This is it. No more goals for you. Nope. Whatever you got, you got. And um, we are back to the city event. You, you are player it. one. I'll fix that in just a moment. Just slightly out of reach. I know it's killing you. I know. Okay, what is the event going All right. into this round? We are going to do a stock take sale. Stock cake. I thought that said a short cake sale. Okay, we're going to have, what is it? Oh, stock, stock take. Stock take sale. That's a, oh, um, we're looking at the, the stock in our inventory. Yes. After you pay to build a card from the market and refill the space, each card in the market mm. gains one coin. Each card in the market is discounted by the coins on the card to a minimum of one. When the card is removed from the market for any reason, discard any coins on it. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, sale. So it's a big sale. Actually, well, yeah, one more event. Not so on cakes. One more round. Uh, not not shortcakes. Okay. Stock cakes. <laughs> Let's just refill this. Refills the market. Oh. Yes. Oh, that she would have been good to have at the beginning Early of the Early would have been nice, yeah. Oh, look. And her too. <laughs> so many HR managers in the market. So many. And then another and supervisor. All these features. Wow. wow, all the employees Ooh, are coming out. And the whirling teacups. It's just, this is just oh, insanity. Oh no, this is bad. What do Yikes. we have? Oh, second to last round. Yep, this is it. One more after this. So we are on park action phase one. I need to see something. Step one. Oh man. Um. 
This isn't great at all. It's expensive, man. Everything is very expensive. Cause that's got to come out. All right, I'm going to start by bringing out, I'm going to pay $7. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to build the Natural Order attraction. A food outlet. Food outlet. Oh, nice. Um, so you can use an action to build a jungle theme on this mm -hmm. attraction for free. It's like my I do have to house. use an action to do yep. that. Yep, so I'm going to spend 12 bucks and buy this Whirling Teacups ride. Mm. And put that right here. I don't even know if that's in view of everyone, but we're going to put a dollar on everything else. Oh, I like that Whirling Teacups. I kind of wanted it. Uh, sorry, I'm collecting fairy tale <laughs> themes, though. So. Ow. So everything gets a buck now. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going well for me. So it's my turn. Mm -hmm. so I'm building my park wide instead of tall. I need That's to... what I'm doing too. Only because I'm trying to get this blueprint, and it's like not. I, it's not gonna be scoring very high. Mm. I don't think. That's how I'm feeling. So we are on part step two, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to pay, and this is a feature, so it's going to be discounted by two. So I'm actually going to pay $4 mm -hmm. to put this corkscrew element on my Tech Ultra Defender. Cool, cool. Tech Defender Ultra. Um, okay. I'm going to pay $5 for the workshop supervisor. He's only because it gets discounted by one. And now he'll let me build features uh, discounted by two. Park step three. Hmm. Okay. Step three, huh? Mm hmm. I will build a jungle theme for free on mm -hmm. my natural order food outlet. Okay. What does the jungle theme upgrade do anything? Oh, it does. Yes. Uh, I can, oh yeah, I can draw up to five park cards and choose one to keep. Perfect. Oops. Okay. One, so two, three, I'm going to go ahead five. and add a $5. Oh, uh, so for, mm. this costs seven, but I get a $2 discount on feature upgrades because of my workshop supervisor. I'm going to put that right here and put comfortable seating in my gingerbread house. Mm. We are on the fourth and final step. This isn't super great. All right. Um, five, six, seven. Wow, I'm so broke. I'm so broke. <laughs> Let me see something. That's done. Um, I think actually I'm going to I'm going to take loose change. So I'm going to get five. One bucks. buck per attraction. Yes. Five dollars. Yeah. Um. I'm going to go ahead and do the old draw two park cards and keep one. Okay. And we're going to keep that one. <laughs> All right. So let's go on to the guest step. So count your stars. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, we didn't just take advantage of any of our I sales. I know, because there was just too many HR <laughs> managers out there. <Okay. laughs> for my liking. All right, so this is going to go here. Bring out new market cards. And I will tell you what our city what event is. What is our is. last and final event? Um, this round, each player is affected by a special offer. Reveal the top card of the park deck. You may put it into your hand and stop or discard it and reveal another up to a maximum of Wait, five. Wait, so what does that mean? This is the one where we're going to keep revealing a card until you want to take it. Up to five. Oh, up to five yeah. cards. Yeah, so it's like press your luck. Yes. 
Okay, so we'll do that. Yeah. You're actually first player. Yeah, time. I know. So for the final so, round. Yeah. I cannot right. wait. So this is it. For all the marbles. This is for all the marbles. All right, so I get to just keep drawing until up to five? Up to five. So let's see. One. Do you want it? Nope. Two. Do you want that? Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start flipping for you now. Ready? Mm hmm Keep it? No. Keep it. Um. It's an attraction. Leisure. No. Jungle theme. Maybe. <laughs> that's a big maybe. That's a big maybe. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's an expensive the jungle theme though. That is an expensive the jungle theme. That's an expensive the jungle theme. I, I will take it. I will take the jungle theme. Take I'll it. Take it. Okay. It's yours. All right. Yay. Have at it. All right. Okay, park step one. What am so I going to do? What did I take? I took this thing. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to pay five bucks for this. Um, it's an upgrade guest services, so I don't get a discount. But I'm going to put it here in my gingerbread house. It's an express queue. But it says, after you build this upgrade, you may choose a card from the market and put it in your hand. I'm going to take the deluxe quality upgrade. And it is now your turn. All right, so for my first move, my first step, I'm actually going to destroy a card. I'm going to destroy my freak show. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, that's your action. I know. And the upgrade goes with it. I know. But I need a spot in my park, so okay. that goes away. Okay, well, that's a rough turn. Not rough. We're nice. paving way. We're paving way for bigger and better things. Right. There's like an under construction sign. It's like, <laughs> don't worry. We're we're building you a better park. That's so sad. We're improving your park experience. Um. All right. So here's nine dollars, and I'm going to build the superior quality upgrade on my gingerbread house. We're in step two. Yep. So I just upgraded my gingerbread house. Oh man, all the qualities are coming out. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yikes. Uh, I need, like, lots more turns. Hmm. <laughs> I need, like, one more turn, unfortunately. I don't think I'm going to make it. Ugh. All right, I'm going to pay $9 mm -hmm. to build a water slide. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm going to pay $9. Oh, I don't have much money left. Well, we're in the third third phase. So I'm going to pay 9 of my $10 and uh, put a superior quality. Uh, no, I can't put that. I can. Maybe I'll put it on my super... Wicked Queen's Attraction. Oh, sucks so bad. All right, your turn. This is so stinky. Wait till you see this terrible luck. Mm. This terrible luck of mine. Um, uh, all right. I'm assuming there's no cheaper guest services, are there? <laughs> Can I borrow a dollar? No, I actually need that <laughs> next turn. Really? My last dollar, yeah. Your last dollar? I'm done with my last dollar. <laughs> it's my bottom dollar. No. No. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, oh, sucks. I wish there was a better way to do this. All right. Well, I guess I'll build this first. Build ten dollars for a jungle theme. Mm. I can draw up to five park cards and choose to keep one. So we'll do that. Okay. And we are now moving to the fourth. Five. And final step. Fourth and final turn. So I'm going to use it to just build a flagpole. This is a feature upgrade, so I get a $2 discount. So it's only going to cost me $1 to do it. And I'm going to put it atop my gingerbread house. Mm, what better nice. way to 
top that with this, the other than with this flagpole. So what happens with the flagpole though is when you put that on, you cannot add any more upgrades to that attraction. Right. That's good. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a good way to finish it off. So your yeah. last turn. Well, this is quite unfortunate. I have two dollars left, mm. and I need three dollars. Ah, that's. This is gonna cost me so many points. That is not good. Um, but I guess I could just see if I'd gotten the teacups. Mm. I would have fixed the problem. I think you passed those by. I did pass it by because I was gonna buy it and then like I didn't. All right, I'm just gonna buy a flagpole. Okay. For two, for one dollar. For one dollar. Because it's cheap and that'll at least give me a star. On top of my new water slide attraction. Mm-hmm. That's it. And that is it. So now we do our normal cleanup. So we're going to do our guest. Get like paid. Money. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, plus 6 is 27. 27. I feel like maybe I didn't give myself enough money or something at one point. <laughs> <laughs> By one dollar. Uh, yeah, so I, that's that's it. So we're gonna get ready to do some final scoring. There was an, actually an app to do this, so we'll do this on the app. All right. Okay. Mm. So the uh, the web app is literally just it's not even an app. It's on a web page, uh, funfair-game.com, and it does everything for you. You literally just have to type in what you have, yes. and it gives you a total score. Right. So it's it's phenomenal. Um, I'll put this right here in the middle, and we can just go through everything. So. Um, Number of icons on each attraction. So for attraction number one, how many yep, icons do you have? You have four. Mm -hmm. So you, we're just counting yep, just these those pictures. icons, right? All right, next one. Three. Three. Your third one? Two. Two. Fourth one? Four. Four. And the fifth one? Two. Two. All right, done. And then now I'm going to start counting mine. So my first attraction has one, two, three, four. Second attraction has one. And keep in mind, some attractions have two already built into them. So it's one, yeah, two, so it's three, not always four, five, per six, card. Seven. Uh, like this, like Queen's Wicked Tower. Wicked yeah. Queen's Tower has two built on, so it's got three in total. And my Whirling Teacups actually has two. Uh, next. All right, blueprints. So let's look at okay. your blueprints. So you've got the required and so you've got terrible. the bonus. So put them out here right, and let's we'll do, score we'll them one at a time. We'll do my good one first. So um, any thrill ride mm -hmm. with guest services upgrade mm -hmm. right here. So what's what ride is this? The this tech is my Defender Tech Defender Ultra, Ultra Super Attraction. Okay. Thrill ride. Thrill ride. Uh, with a guest services upgrade. Of Express Queue. And also a food outlet. Any food outlet. So that so is a that. pass. So that is 15 points. Yes. And your bonus? The bonus is at least four attractions with star totals of one, two, three, and four stars exactly. Okay. And I have one, two, mm -hmm. three, and four. Least. Four attractions yes. with star totals. Okay. So that it. is 22 points. That's yes. big. That's yeah. huge. Uh, your second card. Uh, <laughs> we don't have to look at that one. So, so I, was, I needed a leisure ride mm -hmm. with a guest services upgrade, mm -hmm. um, a feature upgrade, and a theme upgrade. All right. So it had a feature, a theme. Just no guest services. No guest services. Right. One dollar. So that's a minus. $1. That's a failed. That's a fail minus ten. It automatically it just has a button yeah. for failed. And the bonus on that was at least three different theme upgrades. Okay. And I don't even think I didn't even have that. So. All right. So all let's right. go with mine here. So we have. <laughs> this was called thrills and spills. Complete complete all items. All right. So any thrill ride with any feature upgrade. So we can go with the Twister roller coaster, has a. Sea Serpent Roll feature upgrade, right? Yeah. And any food outlet, gin, uh, gingerbread house, with any guest service. I want to go to that gingerbread Boom. house. Boom. And then a bonus is the same thrill ride, so this one has no guest services, and it does oh, not. Oh, nice. So that is 15 and 10. So yeah. I got them both. Nice. And then the next card is called Fine Foods. So any food outlet mm -hmm. with at least three stars and upgrades. Yes. And then a at least three staff members. Nice. So good job. 13 and 6. Oh, very good. Those are pretty easy. Very, they are actually stamped with an easy symbol. Yes. That one's medium, actually. Yeah. That... <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many coins do you have? Uh, 20. 20. And I have 27. 
All right, and staff members. So you get points for your staff members. So some of them have victory points printed on them. Some of them have. You have to calculate. It. Points. I get eight dollars in total. Well, eight points in total. Eight points. Yeah, not dollars. All right. So now, uh, I've get five, six, seven, eight plus three for every fairy time tale theme icon. So I've got one, oh, two, nice. three, four. Four. So that's twelve points for her. <laughs> Seventeen, twenty points. That's crazy. Yeah. She was good to me. All right, points scored from the I award. I you get the award. I only have Most one. quality icons in the park. Yeah. Um, I have one. You, I only have two, one, so you have way three. more than me. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> so you get zero points, and I get 15. Done. Next. That's wow, the game. Wow, you crushed oh! me. I did terribly. That was crazy. That was an embarrassing performance. <laughs> I hope nobody watches this video. <laughs> and if you do watch this video... Don't judge me. <laughs> this is Let's not talk about any it. kind of indication of my mental capacity. <laughs> All right. Fun fair. That was very fun. It was pretty fun. It was fun for me. This thing really, I got to tell you, this game really fun. hums with two. It really does. Yeah. Um, this was, actually, we've had so much fun with this game that, like, we've, tried like a whole bunch of different stuff and it's kind of fun to explore it that way yeah, yeah, yeah um this time i actually had that blueprint last time we played and i did not meet the bonus target and i was like this one with like the one two three four mm -hmm. stars and i was like oh like that, that might be kind of fun yeah. to go for um didn't work out did get it got the points yeah. um losing 10 points hurt but it still wasn't enough because it, it, it doesn't yeah. allow you to build up, you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. And I think probably it might have worked out if I didn't already have like three sideshows because I had to take a whole turn to get rid of one of my sideshows to build That's the leisure true. ride for my other That blueprint. crush you, as so, opposed to just building one higher, right? Cause, exactly. Because as you go above the seven, eight, nine, it's like icons. Yeah, it gets yeah. bigger and bigger in bonus points, right. and you you are in so many. Me having this seven icon. Gingerbread yeah. House was a ton. It's a lot of points, right? It was like the last game we played. I, I got. I forget if I won. I forget who won last game we played. But, I think I won that. Um, one. Whatever. You and Harrison tied, remember? Okay, right. Well, in any case, <laughs> I built like only a couple of things, mm -hmm. really tall. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, so it just the scoring came out differently, but. Yeah, it's it's definitely um, you, you've got to really try to focus on one thing, right? Right. And it's in. And not lose sight of making at least one of your attractions tall. I, I say seven or eight. Yeah, for sure. Because there are big, I'm telling you, that's well, where the points Well, it's are. like the scoring summary is right here, right? So you can get, if you have one icon, you get five points. Mm -hmm. Two, you get eight points. Um, if you have eight icons, you get 38 points. For that attraction. So how many did you have on that? Seven. One, two, three. Yeah, you had seven on that's that. A you 30, got that's a 31, 31 points <laughs> yeah. on that thing. It's big. Um, versus like eight. Yeah, you know it, I mean? it's really big, and I so. think, and and you not, you pretty much not being able to do that second blueprint is what cost you. It is, yeah. And I can see because it gives you a nice, um, it gives you a summary of exactly right. what you scored in each section, and the biggest point differentials are right. in my staff, where That's my true. fairy tale performer. Because what? How much? How many points did you get? One for seven, blueprints, forty-four points. So you still killed it though. But yeah, I mean, but I, I scored almost 20 more points in blueprints. Right. That's a lot of points. And this would have been 24 more points. Right. Because I lost 10 mm -hmm. for not doing exactly. it. Exactly. So and the then I would have gotten an additional 14. So there's, a, there's a gamble. It, so. There's definitely a gamble with that. Yeah. It's very, it can be kind of like, I want to say it can be swingy, but at the same time, when we played a three player game, it was tight. Like, me and Harrison scored exactly the same score. Yeah. So it was like, it was pretty tight still. Yeah. If, I'm telling you, it's going to come down to who can yeah. nail the most blueprints mm -hmm. who can snipe that uh park award yeah at the end right um but it, it definitely plays different like every time you go through yeah. it and um because you can go for i'm gonna build a pirate theme i'm gonna build a fairy tale yes. theme i'm gonna go robots this time right. like you can sort of lean towards the themes and the award makes you think because last time we got the award it was for more feature more upgrades features. so you i was really you got it by one too yeah i was sniping was like one step ahead sniping for features Terrible. uh so like you really have to try to try to stay ahead of it but again yeah. the game plays fast enough that it's not okay you know you could just clean like it up you could just clean something play it again. roll it again right you know um yeah so what are your what are your thoughts about this version of of unfair um much quicker the table yeah so the again we had mentioned this in the beginning 
um, unfair. I uh, was really cool in the fact that it mm -hmm. did have a ton of different decks. You could mm -hmm. kind of build your experience the way you wanted it to be built. Um, but I, I prefer this because Everything's already there. Mm -hmm. um, and again, the quicker you can get it to the table, the quicker it's going to make it to the table. Because yeah. you have to sit there and like try to build a deck and then it's like, oh, we screwed it up or something. Yes, so. and what what I liked about mm -hmm. Unfair more was yeah. the uh, variety in theme decks. Right. But the problem is I didn't want to play with any of them because they were too take thatty. So yeah. you, you were like, oh, this would look like a really cool deck to play with, uh -huh. but man, those cards are nasty. I don't want yeah, to play this like one. Yeah, it's like robots, and it was yeah. like, take down one and of your like attractions, one of your opponent's attractions. Or like yeah. samurais, and right. it was like, s kill one of your other opponents. Like, like I could take down yeah. one of your attractions. Yeah, like shut it down, I won't score it yeah. for income that round. I'm like, man, that's brutal. Yeah. And you know, it's tough enough to get money to begin with, and then right. you're, you're, you're struggling to score. But if you enjoy playing that way, Maybe you'll enjoy Maybe. that more. Not for us, right? Yeah. So we liked... Although I did enjoy it. I liked what that game was about. But we only played with those decks. But yeah, so you, <laughs> but you're only, so basically, yeah. this is that game mm -hmm. minus any of the take that. Right. And yeah. I enjoy this a thousand times more. Yeah. I would choose this over Unfair any day of the week. Yeah. And if they do expand this and put out additional theme decks... Uh -huh. I would be extremely excited to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, to, and to integrate that into this base game. Yeah, um, I think so too. Because, like I said, uh -huh. the themes are cool. They're right. cool as hell. Right. It's just a matter of what are they adding to the game. And in this version, they're only going to add cool, fun stuff. Right. Not more take that. Well, I noticed like even the city cards mm -hmm. are not yeah, like city, they're not the events were so bad mm -hmm. and like they just ruined it. And again, could be a challenge for you if mm. that's like kind of what you're into. Uh, but for this, like I just did enjoy the the, the challenge of trying to build a cool park. Like it's much yep. more of kind of a laid back fun experience which makes sense because it's called fun fair so yeah. um so yeah i did i did like that um i like that they kept pretty much everything else in the game because i loved i love the art i like the the theme of the game like you do feel like you're building a park which is really yeah. cool um so yeah i think uh, I, yeah. all of that you know i i'm i'm totally down with so yeah i think this I version think has a much better chance of of kind of penetrating the market. Absolutely. Because it's it's a game you want to play with your kids. Yeah. Because when you start playing a take daddy game with your kid, <laughs> they don't really take it too well right. when you're when you're stomping on their park. So yeah. they're, they're gonna have a bad experience. And uh -huh. if they're having a bad experience with it, then they're not gonna want to play games. Right. Yeah. But this in this, you're rewarded for mm -hmm. being creative and for, for hitting your targets and it really is it's just a more enjoyable overall yeah. experience. Yeah. I was I was going to say too from a kind of an audience perspective sort of a who would this be great for? Mm -hmm. Um definitely I think uh kids of a certain age, you know, that could kind of play on their own. Um but also if you are kind of in people are always asking like what kind of gateway games or mm -hmm. games that will help get people into the hobby or something. This is definitely one of those that I think so. meets the mark for gamers like you know we're heavy gamers but this is such a refreshing kind of like palate cleanser to take out for 45 yeah. minutes an hour whatever um you know take a break from the kind of like really brain burning stuff um but it's it's like easy enough to pick up and understand mm -hmm. that you could introduce it to somebody and say okay we're gonna play this game fun fair um here's basically what you're gonna do the rules are really easy to to, to pick up and now that person knows the co core concepts of a tableau builder. Mm -hmm. And now you can start to introduce them to maybe some other games that are a little less themey, um, but have the same kind of tableau building concept. Um, so I think it's a great one to teach that mechanic if that's something that you're looking for. Yeah, I agree. One of my favorite mechanics. Yes, you do enjoy it. Not this. demonstrated by my performance. <laughs> game, but but you still okay. enjoy it. I do. It's so fun. All right. So anything else? Thanks. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed the playthrough. We'll see you next time. See ya.